All right, what's going on today, YouTube? Welcome to your favorite cyclist YouTube channel today. Thanks for joining us today. Um, today we are talking our last part of our Let's Talk Bike Rack series. Um, so this one, I don't have a demonstration for you guys, but I'm going to talk to you guys more about it. Um, this video, we're going to talk about hitch racks. Um, for those who don't know, a hitch rack uh, mounts to a tow receiver that would be on the back of your vehicle. Um, and it essentially has a kind of a support that comes out and then a big kind of tall piece normally that will kind of hang the bikes or it has a support that comes out and then it has the trays for you to put your bikes on. Um, for those who don't know what a hitch is, uh, I'll post a picture up on the screen right now. Um, there are two different types, um, at least that I know of. Um, it just depends on the type of vehicle you have and how much the, what the weight capacity for that vehicle is. Um, for a truck, I believe it's a two and a half inch receiver. Um, and then for most kind of smaller vehicles, you know, like if I was to get one for my Mustang or my wife's car, I uh, believe it's an inch and a half, I want to say. Um, I'll post on the screen if I got those wrong. Um, but they do make two different types, just based on the load rating for the vehicle. Um, so when you do go purchase your bike rack or your hitch rack, uh, make sure you choose the right size for your, for your vehicle. Some come in just the one size or the other. Some come with an adapter that makes it easy to change between the two. Just make sure you get the right one. Um, as I mentioned, I don't have a demonstration. My truck actually doesn't have a hitch receiver on here. Uh, none of my cars actually do. Um, I'll post a few up on the screen here. First one I'm going to post up uh, is going to be a hanging bike rack. Um, so if you guys watched my last one um, where I talk about the trunk racks, it's going to be a very similar design. Um, essentially, the um, essentially the bike's going to hang on the top tube of the bicycle. Um, so again, same kind of pros and cons as the trunk rack. Sometimes the bike won't fit there without a special adapter to make it work. Um, so you might need to get that special adapter. Other than that, the hitch, you know, with that with that style of rack, I believe they have something up to four or five bikes. Um, so they're a very good, very easy option for you. Uh, if they're going to just haul a lot of bikes for much more bang for the buck, um, that's going to be your best option for you. Um, Price-wise, I'll post a couple in the description below. Um, again, you can find those at like Walmart, you know, some basic ones, or you can go bike shop, Yakima, Thule, Hollywood Racks, any of them all sell a bike rack similar to that as well. Um, other type of bike rack is going to be one that comes out and has a tray. Um, so again, that one has the same kind of pros and cons as my roof rack video. Um, pretty much everything with the tray. Um, some of them clamp down on the wheels, some clamp onto the frame. Um, you just got to see what works best for the vehicle. Also, another thing to keep in mind, um, if you have your hitch rack on, sometimes you are not able to open the back of your vehicle um, the correct way, just based on if that thing can move, um, and what kind of style of trunk or um, rear hatch you have. So in my sense, in my case, I have a tailgate here. So if I was to have a hitch receiver or a hitch rack on here, um, I would be able to drop my tailgate, um, essentially to hit the rack. Um, if you have a hatchback or a you know, like a van or a SUV with a lifting lifting gate, um, rear hatch. Same kind of deal, you're not gonna be able to open that with that rack with that rack in the way. So in that case, you have to either get one that does kind of move out of the way, that has a little bit of rotation to it or can angle down in order to clear your, your tailgate opening up, or you have to remove the rack completely in order to access it. So that's one thing you need to look forward to or look into before you purchase your, your bike rack is if it's gonna work well with the vehicle and if you're looking to access inside the back with the right with your rack on. So really this is a pretty simple option. If the vehicle came with a hitch receiver from the factory, sometimes it's hidden um, behind kind of a like a plastic cover. You might have to take a look at the back of your vehicle. Most of them, if you have like a truck or something, you'll be able to see right here um, where the receiver would be coming through. So that's the way you know if you have one or not. Um, if you have one already, really it's gonna be a simple option. It'll be about the same cost or cost range as the as the trunk racks. Um, so, I mean, if you have already have a receiver, that's gonna be your option for it. It's gonna be the best, best kind of bang for the buck for you. If you don't have a receiver, um, just depending on the type of vehicle you have, um, some have a, like a bolt-on kind of kit for the, for the receiver. Other ones are gonna have to be weld on or special fabrication in order to do them. Uh, you can always look online. U-Haul sells some, um, Kurt sells some. You can take a look for your vehicle online and see what they have available. Uh, for this truck here, if I was to get a hitch receiver, it's about 150 bucks, um, and I would be a bolt-on kit that I have to install myself. So if you are looking to have someone install your hitch, hitch receiver for you, um, budget for that as well, see who will install them for you. It's not too bad most of the time. Um, most U-Haul dealerships, U-Haul stores will be able to install them for you. Uh, you just have to call around and see what's available. In that case, you know, about $150 for the receiver, and then just depending what you're willing to spend for your hitch rack itself. 
Um, really, if you have a, if you already have a hitch receiver, my recommendation is to go for the hitch receiver, hitch rack. It's gonna be a much sturdier rack than getting a trunk rack. Uh, much more versatile as well. Carry a lot more bicycles. If you don't have one, get a hitch rack or get a trunk rack. Sorry, trunk rack. Use that. This can be the best bang for your buck. Um, save you. Be able to help you keep the bike outside the vehicle. All right. So hope you guys enjoyed this series on Let's Talk Bike Racks. Talking about the different types of bike racks there are. End of this video, I'll post a playlist so you guys can check out all the videos. Um, you guys can learn all about roof racks, trunk racks, hitch receiver racks, as well as the fork mount rack as well. All different types of racks, just depending on the application, what kind of vehicle you have, really what you're looking to use, use it for. Take a look at that. If you guys enjoyed this video or this series, give me a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if there was something you wanted me to improve on or something you had a question about. I'll be able to get back to you, let you know what, what I think. Um, otherwise, post a couple videos else on the screen here for you. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching today.